Welcome back to my channel, Fixing It Up with Sandra. And in case you're new here, I'm Sandra. Today we have a craft that I'm super excited about trying because I want to know, does this stuff really work? Like, do these irons, these iron-ons really work from the dollar store? Um, they're the Crafter Squares. I found some cute little tote bags from the Dollar Tree. So this is a super, super budget-friendly craft. You can do this as a gift. Oh my God, how awesome would this be? Um, and I wanna know, does this really, does this stuff really work? Does it hold on? Does it last? What can we make with this? So anyways, let's get started. Super easy, super fun. So I know most of us are on a budget. Um, I always love to give super cute gifts with a lot of thought. Um, and yeah, I, I'm always looking for budget friendly. I'm like, okay, I don't have a lot of money, but I want to make something personalized for them. And when I was at the Dollar Tree, I happened to see oh, these super cute stickers. Aren't they so adorable? And they had these super cute little totes. I love them. So I thought, um, what the heck? Why can't we do this? And this would be such a cute gift for anyone. It is handmade. Um, I just, I love this kind of stuff. So I wanna see, does this really work? So we are going to point the camera down. This shouldn't take more than a few moments um, and we're gonna get started. So we're gonna be making two bags, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna do two of them. I have this other really cute one, Adventure Awaits. And then of course, this one right here, it says Sparkle and Shine. Now it does have directions on the back. I do have, I'm gonna cheat a little. I have my little Cricut um, press, heat press right here that I'm gonna use. I have it on its highest setting and you can use an iron. Um, just make sure that it's not on steam and it'll tell you right here on the back as well, just in case you forget. So we're gonna open this up and, oop, Okay, so it comes right out, so be careful. Kind of, just gonna move that sticky part out of the way. So we're gonna, so it comes with a little bit of a piece of a parchment paper. All right, so we're gonna set that over here. Kind of, so you can feel and you can obviously see where um, the right way to put it. All right, so we're just gonna set it right there. And then it says, um, remove the protection parchment paper, place the transfer sheet with the glossy side up, which we have done with the transfer side down and then place the protective parchment paper on top of the plastic transfer sheet. Okay. Super easy. I've got it centered exactly where I want it. Um, okay. Let's get our, let's keep our fingers crossed. And we're just gonna go over this. Now, if this truly works the way that it implies, I mean, talk about a crazy buzz, budget friendly craft. I mean, you don't even have to own a Cricut to do something like this. I mean, I love the fact that something like this is available for such an amazing price. Now, with something like this, I would hand wash. I would recommend anybody that um, either buys one of these things off of you, you give one away, make sure that you let them know that this is something that needs to be hand washed. Um, do not stick it in the dryer uh, because I, you know, I hate to say, but it's from the Dollar Tree, so you don't know how well these adhere, but I have been pleasantly surprised when it comes to the Dollar Tree. And so I'm just going over this. It says for 40 to 60 seconds. I'm just, you know, going over this just to make sure that it's really on, on there good. Then you will let this cool. You will not touch it. <laughs> let it cool before you go to peel the plastic off. And that's when we're gonna do the second one while this one's cooling. And then of course, um, if it, uh, if it doesn't stick, we can always, you know, put the heat back on it. So we're just gonna move that to the side. And see, so these are the little crafter squares. I don't, um, tote bag from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if these are available online, but if you cannot find them in your local Dollar Tree, hopefully you can find them. 
These would make great like little um, sacks for Christmas uh, to give a present. Instead of stockings, do something like this. Or for Halloween, like little treat bags. I think those would be really cute. So again, we're gonna center this. Piece of hair. Gosh, I'm just, these, and the, the thing is, these are super cute. Like, you know, sometimes from the Dollar Tree, you're like, oh, they didn't put too much effort into that. But I'm telling you, how adorable. And I, I bought a few of these totes because I do own a Cricut Maker. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna create some. But then when I saw these, I'm like, why even do all of that when you can just buy something from the Dollar Tree? Okay. This, is it sliding? Oh, there it goes, okay. I'm like, the other ones seem to slide a lot better or easier, I should say. And you can always write somebody's name on here um, with like a permanent marker, anything. So cute. I'm so keeping my fingers crossed um, that this works perfectly. I know that um, Michaels sells pre-made iron-ons that are super cute. I think Walmart does too. Um, and of course you can order them on Amazon. But these tote bags were only a buck. You know, the fabric alone to me would be more than that. Okay, we're just gonna leave that like that. Set that aside. All right, here's where it, you know, we'll know. Oh wow, okay, that really came up easy. Oh my gosh, this is, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, look at that. Two dollars, guys, two stinking dollars. I know to a lot of people, two dollars is a lot, but when you're handing out a gift and you want it to look, you know, special and all of that fun stuff, two dollars is a bargain, you know? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm in love. Should I go buy more? <laughs> like, should I be that person that goes and buys like, you know, half of them? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna... <gasps> Okay, 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 it's coming. It's coming off kind of easy. I don't want to tug it all because I know I didn't put as much heat on this as I did the other one. Oh my goodness. Dude, I can't, I can't even. <laughs> oh, so cute, isn't it? I love it and it's adhered to the fabric really well. I mean, you can do this for a shirt, anything, but um, it's not lifted at all in any of the spots. So uh, a win for me and for you guys because it does work and look it, how freaking cute. All right, guys, I don't know how much better it can get when it comes to dollar store crafting. That's super fast and super fun, super easy, and so, so adorable. Aventured. Am I showing you guys right? I'm like, oh, I can't see. And then look at this. Dude, look at it. I love them. I absolutely love them. So, yes, super happy. Um, of course, if you're like, what? Show us more of this stuff. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to keep trying stuff like this super fast, super quick. Let's do it. Let's, let's find out if this stuff really works. Um, so also subscribe. Oh, and make sure that you hit that notification bell. I don't know why I'm not telling people that hit that notification bell. So, you know, every single time I upload a video, a post, all of that fun stuff. So you never miss out on anything, especially stuff like this. I mean, come on. So um, share with your friends, run down to the Dollar Tree, hop on, their on the Dollar Tree website, see if you can get this stuff because it is amazing. So anyways, that was today's tutorial. 
we are in and out easy peasy lemon squeezy so have a fabulous week and i will see you guys again in my next tutorial